highly requested video today. I'm going to share with you what supplies I use, what... I'm gonna share with you what supplies I bring with me when I travel and draw outside of my studio. But there are two parts to this. I'm holding up four fingers, but I mean two. I'm gonna show you what I bring every day in my backpack. So everywhere I go, this is what I have. And then I'm gonna show you what I bring when I travel for a long period. So for example, I'm gonna kinda show you what I traveled with to Europe when I was there for three weeks this summer, just to give you an idea of a long term supply setup. This is my everyday. This stuff comes with me everywhere. I don't wanna carry a lot of stuff, but I want art supplies. That's my goal here. I bring a smaller size of my absolute favorite sketchbook ever, the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook. Favorite sketchbook ever. It's what I use pretty much 99% of the time. I usually have a selection of five colors of Prismacolor color pencils in this cute little elastic pencil holder thing I got in Prague, which I love. Yes, I usually have five different colors. I switch these out sometimes. And then I carry this pencil sharpener to sharpen my pencils. This one's great because it closes and opens. I also carry with me a roll of washi tape to tape little papers and tickets and things in my sketchbook when I need it. And then I usually have a couple pens. I'm, I'm not like a pen snob. I'm just using these Pilot G2 pens. This is just what I have. I'm not picky. But sometimes I get sick of drawing with my colored pencils, so I want a pen. I carry around this sketchbook and have a really, really low expectations for it, so I'm not trying to impress anybody with what's in there. And that is my daily stuff. Nothing fancy, just something I can draw with. And if it's in my backpack, it's not heavy. I absolutely hate it when my backpack's heavy. There's usually next to nothing in it. And if you're wondering, this is a Kankin Mini. I also get a lot of questions about what size I have. I have a mini and a normal, but I carry this mini one. And I have my spooky spider on it for Halloween. And then for an extended trip, I'm just gonna show you what I brought to Europe this summer. I packed everything in this Delphonics utility pouch. I think this is the small, yeah, this is the small size, I think. I think there's a small, medium, and large. Super cute, has tons of little pockets. Are these pockets on the outside useful? Not really, because things just fall out of them. Um, is it cute? Yeah, it's pretty cute, and I like the shape of it. It's good. It works. I also have a couple of my pins on here. I have a couple from Mochi... Mochi... How in the world do you say that? Um, Mochi... Cheeto? Mochi... I'm gonna put it on the screen and see how close I got. I also have my favorite pin ever from Bee Booties. I love this pin. This is me. An extended trip. What do I bring? Sorry. Silence that. Silence that. So I had another mini Strathmore Media sketchbook. I think these fit perfectly in my backpack. I love them. I love this paper. It's great because I wanted to use water media. It's good. Okay, so let's start with watercolors. I made this little tiny palette. I put little pans of Winsor & Newton watercolor in here. And then I also had a tube of white gouache and a little tiny paper towel. I have six colors in there. Um, it worked. Did I really prep this very well? No. Um, if you're gonna make one of these palettes, it would be cool if you could coat the inside because I left water on it and it got kind of weird. And also stick little magnets on the bottom of these pans. I didn't do that. I just put this, put these in here like day before I left. But it did work fine. It was just a little messy, a little jingly in my bag. But it was small and that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be extra small. Brought my Pentel Aquash brush pen. Um, so it just holds water in there and you can squeeze it out so you don't have to have a cup if you've never seen one of these before. They're great. Um, I just used a small pointy one. I'm not sure what size it is. I don't use that the Altoids one anymore, but I do use this Winsor & Newton mini-ish palette. It's not as small as the other one, but as long as I'm not going out of the country and walking all day, I don't mind carrying this because it's a little bigger and heavier than the Altoids one, but it's still mini. It has perks like an extra palette and a little brush in there, lots of colors. I'd like to make a nice small Altoids one for traveling. 
which I might try and look for a tutorial online or something. Um, but those are my two watercolor palettes I travel with. Moving on. You guys having fun? I'm having fun. So I did bring some markers. I'm missing one. I had one more of these Arteza brush pens. These are just water soluble, is that the right word? Water soluble brush pens. So you can dip them in water or add water to them afterwards and they're kind of watercolory without getting your watercolors out, which I like. So I brought these, I liked them, good. And then I also picked up some Copics in Venice. I think I was in Venice but I didn't use these a lot. I just had them in my bag because I bought them because I was so excited about the Copic selection. I don't really use Copics a lot. It's just, they're, they're so fun. So I had these. Didn't really use them that much because they bleed through and you know, but they're fun just to have something else. So I had those. Um, and then I had some erasers and a sketching pencil. I use a Prismacolor color erase pencil. I'm not picky on the color. This one was red. And then I have two erasers. Um, and washi tape. This is not even as many as I brought, but I brought a million Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. These are my absolute favorite colored pencils. These are what I use every day. I would select a few of these every day and bring out different colors and it was fun. Um, if you notice, there's a lot of mini tiny ones. This is my one complaint about these pencils. I love them and I will never stop using them because I love them so much. I've read about this, that when they are transported from being made, the lead inside is very soft and it breaks. When you sharpen these pencils, there's a very high probability that the little lead piece will come out in a little point and be broken and you just have to keep sharpening and keep sharpening and then you end up with a little, a little tiny pencil. The one downside to those pencils, just be aware, everyone experiences it, it sucks, but I love them. So I'm willing to take the risk, you know? Yeah. And I think I talked about everything that I bring. That's it. I wouldn't bring all of this whole pouch out with me daily. I would just select a few of the supplies, like five colored pencils and maybe my watercolors, or I would just bring um, my couple brush pens and that's it. It's just random. So I wouldn't bring all of this out. I would just keep this wherever I was staying and select what I wanted. Just so we're clear, I did not carry all of this with me. That would be insane. All right, so if you have any questions about the supplies I just breezed through, let me know in the comments and I will try and answer them. I feel like I've just been sitting here blabbering on about all these supplies and not really giving you that great of information, but if you need more, I will do my best to answer your questions. <laughs> Why do I have to stand like this? It's so annoying, okay. Um, so I'm gonna put my hands in my pockets. I hope this was helpful if you want to think about starting to draw more outside of your comfort zone, if that's in your house or wherever. I feel like a lot of people like to draw comfortably in their studio. I've found it to be awesome to draw outside of my studio and not have any expectations and it's great. So that's it. I hope you guys liked the video, found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you found it not helpful, give it a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? So I'll see you later. Bye.